I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by CoinKite.com, bringing you the best hardware to secure your Bitcoin. The cold card queue, the tab signer, the block log, and plenty more goodies can be found over at CoinKite.com. Use code BTC Sessions for a nice discount at checkout. Um, a couple of things that are here in my office right now. Now, the one that is behind me, right? there <laughs> and uh but i also for show and tell i have one that is uh, a little bit easier to focus on right here too and uh and these are tiny devices that are home mining diy devices now obviously bitcoin mining is very competitive and uh if you don't have cheap power um, you're likely to not really be making a bunch of money. But that's kind of also not the main point of this. Um, these devices are low cost and uh, require very minimal amounts of electricity to run. They allow you to uh, set them up and kind of learn about how uh, a, a mining device can jump into a mining pool or can solo mine basically kind of shows you the ropes of how to set that up and tinker and learn a little bit about Bitcoin mining for those that have never done so. Um, and you can kind of approach it in a couple different ways. You can, um, you can solo mine, which means uh, a pooled mining is when a bunch of miners get together, they pool their resources and then they, um, and then they, it's basically like being in a lottery pool where if, somebody in that group wins the lottery, then based on how much money you've put into buying tickets, you'll get your percentage out of that. Um, so you can do that with these devices and you get very, very tiny payments, typically via lightning, uh, if you're going to do that. Or you can just YOLO into solo mining, uh, where you just run the device, you expect to not ever get a payout. But if you do, it ends up being a pretty sweet payout for a low cost device. So it's it's kind of like a forever lottery ticket sitting on your shelf. And it's a curiosity and it's a conversation piece. But beyond that, if it were to be normalized, like if every person that normally bought a, a lottery ticket just had a, a little device on, on their shelf, um, you would begin to see the amount of hash rate for those tiny devices across the globe begin to compete with and in some instances eclipse some of these larger corporate mining pools. And so um, you could actually have a significant amount of hash rate that is decentralized in the hands of the plebs instead of these large corporate entities, which is kind of cool. I think this might be the easiest, cheapest, and most accessible way for your average person who's curious about Bitcoin mining and, you know, maybe isn't going to be doing it in any sort of a professional sense, but is just thinking, I'd love to learn about that. You can get a device for like 70 bucks. And it's, you know, that little one that I held up before. You can get something like this super cheap or build it yourself from parts. And then, you you know, you dip your toes into to Bitcoin mining for the first time and learn a little bit more about how Bitcoin works. And I, th in my mind, just the learning is, uh, is worth it. So.